Oh no. Alrighty, <laughs> so uh, last episode kind of ended in um, disaster for poor Ahmed, but he's already been freed from prison. <laughs> and you know, I was thinking about it, like if permadeath was on, I would have lost him forever, and it wouldn't have been as funny. Um, even though he's probably one of the operatives that has the least going for him. Um, but yeah, I feel like if I were playing with permadeath, first of all, I wouldn't have... 30 operatives to choose from. I would only use the best of the best. And uh, for me, that's not too fun. So, um, but yeah, I thought that ending was explosive and funny. <laughs> and I just feel bad for Ahmed. But he's, he's, he's out of jail already. We have him still. So um, we have him back. And that's what's important. But in this episode, we're going to confront Richard Malik as he has betrayed us. If any of you thought he was uh, smarmy and um, not very pleasant to be around, this is why. He is, in fact, a jerk, and also, unfortunately, we lost him a child in the process. This is a message for dead sake. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him I... Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the DedSec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the DedSec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. What are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building and You get the idea. You're fucked. We're getting hunted like foxes out there. Let's kill him already. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show DedSec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Funny you mention it. I had a thought about that. Show them Bagley. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Oh, we have conflicting views. Um, I actually want to switch to someone else. I want to use Jane for this. I know I've used her a lot. Um recently, but I, I do think I want to use her. So let's switch to Jane real quick. Um, also, uh, just to point out, I also um, upgraded uh, all the drone betrayals, so I don't have to rely on Jonathan as much, which is bad, but he's still amazing. So, you know, I may decide to use him at some point, too. I wish I had somebody who had 6G as well as a uh, an auto, an automatic weapon. That would be so nice. I don't, and I don't think I do. See, she has fast downloads, but... Okay, yeah. Sadly, none of my operatives have uh, <laughs> an, automatic, an automatic weapon and fast downloads. Um, that is unfortunate. Um, but I might switch to another operative. I want to do this part with Jane. Let's see what we find. Oh, I hope nothing's wrong. No problem. Okay. I was I was getting ready. <laughs> I, was, 
<laughs> I was getting ready. Uh, let me make a waypoint and take a car. Um, I guess I'll take one of these. Apologies. Apologies. Okay, I didn't run anybody over. First time driver. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, if, if all goes well, um, I'm going to fit this in one video. Depending on how I do, uh, will determine how long the video is. Um, hopefully it won't be too long, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to survive. I was able to survive this the first time I played, so, um, you know. But we, we already saw from, you know, what was supposed to be one of the easiest missions in the game. Uh, I am perfectly capable of being incapacitated. Um, during the stupidest things. Uh, but it is good to know. I think that other people have had this issue too. <laughs> Where the missiles, you know, they're relentless. They come after you, they hit you, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Unfortunately. Ready to go. What are we doing? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what do we do? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Surge uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. Wicked, Bagley. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. Okay. So the first thing is at the top. Let me, um... Be sneaky. We saw, uh, one Albion person down there. Come on, Jane! Get, get with it, my friend. We saw one Albion person down there. Um, who's actually a friend of our operative pawn. Who, uh... In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. Uh... This shouldn't be too bad compared to some of the other ones that we've seen. Nice! Well done! Now I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty Beautiful. little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their MO. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day? You can't be serious. We fight people like you. We don't work for you. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. They've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Sorry, I kind of tuned you out there. What was that? Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. I hate to do it. That is an illegal firearm. Oh, whoops. They're not getting away that easy. I didn't mean to do that. It's like they just vanished. I didn't uh I didn't know that pressing four would uh change weapons. <laughs> okay, there's somebody there.
Nice. You should play baseball, Jane. Okay, now we should be fine to go in. I'm just afraid of that one guy coming back. Disable that. There's a person with a key. They are also a tattletale. We're just gonna download that real quick. I just don't want that person to come back. Is this another key? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that was uh, alternate ways of doing that. But yeah, if I were to do that last mission differently... Is he back? He is back, or she, excuse me. Um, if I were to do that last mission differently, I probably would have used Rose or Reem or um, <laughs> Archibald, especially if I had permadeath on. But... Eh. Oh, we can actually... Cool, so we can... So the microwave drones, I guess, are... Chase drones. Shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Wait, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. What should I do? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. I would like to do this. And this. Oh no. I couldn't see the one that. Oh, and I can't. Let me just disable that real quick. I couldn't see the one that was shooting at me. Oh, I shouldn't be in front of that light. Shoot! Uh, so there should be one left, and I want to use that one to betray, if possible. Let me not get spotted by that. Betray, please. Set his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion. But filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Right. Power down, power up, the old on off. Close enough. No. Ah, jeez. <laughs> We didn't, I didn't want, uh, <laughs> I don't need to be, uh, I don't need, uh, reinforcements called on me, please. No, thank you. Let me, um, oh, I could do, okay, I could do this. No. have 16 shots left. I need to aim for the head a little better. 
But yeah, I'm so happy I unlocked all the betray stuff. Because that might make this easier if I don't completely screw up. Which I'm perfectly capable of doing. As you know. something about this drone it can't seem to take a fucking hint fuck off you stupid drone this isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam could you shoot this drone down I'm asking for lightning to go away but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit I will gladly this microwave drone has been hanging around so long, I've given her a name. I'd like to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? <laughs> meet Ada? <laughs> Wasn't that, uh, Sky's dog? Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. I really need to do my best to conserve bullets. Bugger off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah. Unfortunately, I can't use these to betray. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report, but two SIRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail, and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. Cool. Your will be about the same, though. Can I... Could these betray, please? That would be ideal. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. And last but not least, sorry, buddy. Thanks for helping us. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central court. Complete the cycle. Wicked. Now let's get this asshole, yeah? With pleasure. That did not take as long as I thought it would. <laughs> uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. integrated with filament and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks I believe I can trace his position go all right let's find you too old too young too ugly too female ah there he is hello Malik you've been disconnected is it just me or does he look constipated Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. 
Oh, look. Seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly under pressure. What a baby. Oh, shoot. Gotta go. Now what? <laughs> I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Well, can someone tell me why we don't just fucking finish him? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! <laughs> uh. He's just having a bad day. That's just too bad. Woo! This is a blast! Got the hang of this dead sake thing. Please, sir, may I have another? You wouldn't have been recruited if dead sake thought you'd be killed that easily. <laughs> Not sure if I should say thanks, Bagley. You'll get used to the robot's funny way of talking. He has a good metal heart. I just, I think it's funny that they're... Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. This is true. This is true. Uh, so I guess he... Yeah, he's at the safe house. So we could just fast travel there. But I, I think it's funny how all the newer operatives are trying to tell the older operatives how Bagley is. Like, they know. They know, they know dude. Okay, Malik. Tell us everything. We already know about the Canada house bombing and the earlier ones, too. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank. Even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power. And fast. What about Zero Day, huh? You knew about that before we talked? I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? You talk a good game, Malik. But not good enough to talk your way out of what you've done. You'll be staying here for a long time. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. I can't remember what comes next. Let me check my missions. Ah, so we just have to do Clan Kelly now. So, SIRS or SIRS or whatever is done. And uh, this image was um, blurred out before, but now you can see it was Richard Malik the whole time. Um, 
he was setting us up. So just to extend this episode, <laughs> like you can cut off now. Um, I kind of want to, I don't want to officially start the side missions, but I do want to talk to these guys to maybe populate the side missions because I do want to do them later. Maybe. No, you know, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Uh, we don't have to do them now. Um, but yeah, this ended up being a lot shorter than I expected. Um, could be a good thing. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we've wrapped up the SIRS mission, and in the next part, we're going to start dealing with Clan Kelly again. We dealt with Mary Kelly a little bit before, but uh, now we're full-on going to try to take her down and stop her crime ring. But uh, that will be next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Oh, 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 oh,